Ryan Nyshen sat down with his computer in his new house in South Africa, attempting to get some work done. But then he heard a strange sound he couldn't ignore. And when he followed it, he found a baby lying on his floor. Since 2009, Nyshen's has helmed his eponymous wildlife photography business. As a photographic guide, he brings fellow photographers and animal lovers on treks to see the incredible landscapes and fauna that South Africa has to offer. With that in mind, it's easy to understand why Nyshen's moved into a new home in South Africa in the summer of 2018. The country encompasses a full spectrum of habitat types, from lush forests to deserts, and for that reason, it's full of amazing animals. In fact, those who venture to South Africa for wildlife watching often head on safari in search of what are known as the Big Five. The African elephant, black rhino, Cape buffalo, leopard, and lion. The group includes both stealthy predators and giant land mammals, further proving the diversity in the country's natural beauty. But on the home front, Nyshen's found himself dealing with a completely different type of creature. In fact, he noticed them as soon as he moved into his new place. They had technically moved in before the photographer did. Up in the rafters of his new abode, Nyshen's discovered a handful of bush babies. In Africans, they're called nagapies, which means little night monkeys. The title certainly fits for the tiny night-loving primates. At first, Nyshen's had only seen fully grown bush babies, he told the dodo. I see them every evening leaving the house to go forage, he said. Then their population grew. Nyshen said he had begun to hear the squeaking of the little babies. Nyshen's kept up with his furry roommates, but he never came close to their dwelling in the rafters. Eventually, though, the wildlife photographer found himself face to face with one of the bush babies when it came down to his level. That encounter was, of course, unexpected. It all happened while Nyshen's was plugging away on his computer. Then he heard something. It sounded like a flop on the couch and some squeaking, he said. Nyshen's followed the noise and he found its adorable source. I came to investigate and found a little bush baby lying on the floor, he said. The incredibly small primate had landed on the sofa, thus cushioning it from a hurtful fall. The baby was not phased in the least. Seeing it up close was definitely a first for me. It was the most precious little thing. Looked like a miniature person, Nyshen said. But for as peaceful as the baby was, its mother was nervously pacing in the rafters above. So Nyshen's knew that he had to do something to ensure that the mother bush baby would feel safe enough to come down and fetch her newborn. He said, I proceeded to put the baby on the kitchen counter for mommy to see. Ever the wildlife photographer, Nyshen's then captured a video of what happened next. In the footage, the mother leaps from the rafters and lands on the kitchen floor. She then jumps on the counter, landing right next to her fallen baby. Then the mama bush baby grabs her little one with her mouth and begins to bounce back towards Nyshen's ceiling. From the counter, she reaches the top of the kitchen cabinets. That's just enough height to help her bound all the way back up the rafters. Nyshen's went on to share the clip to Facebook where it dazzled viewers. Many couldn't believe the height that the bush baby had covered with just a few jumps. But the wildlife photographer was quick to provide commenters with the fact that the species can jump around seven feet vertically, he wrote. Another viewer commented to say they found it odd to see critters jumping around inside of the house. But one of the most popular posts on Nyshen's video lauded him for doing the right thing and not trying to save the baby. Nyshen's did tell the dodo that he had followed his chosen course of action because he hadn't wanted to affect the mother and baby relationship by touching the little one and leaving a scent behind. I would have hated for the mother to reject it, he said. Fortunately though, his plan worked and Nyshen's was able to reunite the animals quickly and safely. And, he said, the memory of the unexpected situation was something he would have forever. They are really precious, he said. It was a good thing that Nyshen's had the practice too. Just one day after he shared the initial pictures of the bush baby on his sofa, he shared another photo of the mom and her little one on what appears to be the same piece of furniture. The caption read, it happened again. But Nyshen's told the dodo that he didn't mind the bush baby's behavior. He had moved into their home after all. We are in fact in their space and they deserve all the respect. I just love observing them from down below and lend a helping hand in time of need. I cherish every moment of it, he said.